I'm Dave William, president of Dutch Hill Maple. And my son Nathan and Christy are part of the business as well. They have a farm in Tully with 120 acres and we are local Onondaga County growers. In high school actually, it started, I was a senior and it was an ag class FFA in Tully. The uh, person that was head of the FFA teacher there in the course that I was taking, they actually had a sugar bush in Lafayette, New York, which I went over and helped them occasionally empty the sap buckets. At that time, they were using sap buckets. So I kind of got interested in it and started from there. I've been doing it uh, for, well, that's over 50 years. That's back in the, the late 60s, the early 70s that I really was. Started small, a few sap buckets, added on, added on. My, my parents have some land there in Tully where I grew up and still there. I have been here since at least the early 70s. So I would see 6, 71, maybe 69, something like that. Corn syrup is what they make the imitation syrup out of, basically. And real maple syrup is from 45 gallons of sap from a maple tree. And that's usually what it takes to make a gallon of pure maple syrup. We harvest the sap in March, sometimes for, uh, late February, and it carries on to early April. Depending on the season, the spring, how it breaks. The industry has become more technical than it has been. I mean, there's no way using sap buckets anymore. It's uh, very, you almost have to be a technician to make maple syrup on a, a large scale like we do. We have over 77,500 taps that we tap. So my son has really been great with the new technology, gets online and learns more stuff. And Well, we actually begin tapping uh, late January because it takes us three to four weeks between the two or three of us tapping every day, no matter what the weather. It's all a tubing system on a vacuum pump that helps to draw the sap down the hill to a gathering tank. Then we put it through a reverse osmosis machine to uh, concentrate the sap. Instead of 45 to 50 gallons to one, we do between 10 and 15 gallons to one to save a lot of energy. That's basically how we do it now, and then we run it through the evaporator, the conventional evaporator, that uh, makes our syrup. You know, there's antioxidants in maple syrup. I mean, there's certain minerals that are good for you, so the calories are much lower than, than some other sweeteners. It's a beneficial thing. It's a comfort food, so. Especially in these kind of tricky times, this is a great thing to have pancakes for the kids. Yeah, you always want to get uh, syrup from a local producer here in New York State or in Onondaga County would be great. And uh, going to the regional market is a great place to find your syrup. We're here year round, pretty much year round, so if you run out of syrup, here we are.